gonna do a quick walk around on what I feel is the best ice fishing setup, uh, mainly for jigging. Um, for starters, I have the Polaris Ranger 1000 um, enclosed cab with heat and radio. Um, anyone who ice fishes seriously and does jigging seriously knows how brutal the main winters can be. So being in a uh, heated cab is always awesome. Every now and again, I'll just uh, open my door slightly and actually jig out by my track. Really haven't had any issues with it. Um, these tracks are obviously great. The, the one problem it does have is when you hit deep slush, it will get stuck, um, which is very scary and not fun at all. I do have a winch to pull myself out just in case I ever do. Um, got a nice little auger holder right here. And speaking of auger, I have the uh, Strike Master. It's a battery powered and it is unbelievably fast. It is way faster than any gas engine I've had, any propane that I've had. It blows everything I've ever used right out of the water. Um, so this is definitely a must. Next thing I have is the Eskimo Sierra. It's the thermal edition. It is a two man flip over. So these are designed for jigging. Um, I just hook up a rope to it. Um, I have the rope far enough back so all the slush and snow from the tracks doesn't get inside of it. But it, uh, in about two minutes, one person can set this up. Um, it's got two nice seats in here. Easy access. Um, enough, plenty of room for one person. Obviously, it's made for two, so you can get a second person, but it is kind of crowded. Um, it's insulated. I usually have a propane heater in here. I just got a nice toe right there. Probably around two, a little less than two feet. Um, the inside's pretty nice. Uh, I usually drill two holes. Uh, one for the flasher. Um, and what's really nice about these sheds here is it makes the screen very visible. Um, a lot of times when you don't have a shed out, you uh, can barely actually read your flasher um, because of the sun and all the glare and everything. So I just dropped this jig down and I immediately saw like three different toe come up uh, and met it at 20 feet, aggressively took it. So sonar on one hole, that way when you catch fish, you don't have to worry about getting the actual uh, unit out of the hole and getting tangled. So sled version, obviously you can have all your tackle in here, scoop, bait bucket, jigs, even your auger, etc. Pretty roomy for one person, but obviously if you are going with two people, make sure the second person is small because it'll be crowded if uh, two guys are in here, that's for sure. I also carry around a uh, small shovel and a big one and done scoop. Um, I usually get the bulk of the shovel and then I just take uh, literally one scoop of that big green thing, covers the whole 10 inch hole. Um, I think this is the best way, especially if you're jigging spot to spot and you want to drill anywhere from 50 to 100 holes in one day. Um, I do believe this is a setup to get. Thanks for watching.